Hi, how are you? Today is Leap Day, and I'm going to do my first geocaching video. And cause I don't really like to be on camera, so this is going to be a first. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a lot of travel bugs that I have that I have to get rid of, or get them on their journey, because I've been kind of hoarding them for a little bit. And I'm going to take you on my one of my geocaches that I hid at this great park. Um, it's been muggled a couple of times. This park is notorious for the kids finding it, but I think I've hit it in a better place, and so I'll take you along on this great, it's a great trail, even if you don't find the geocache, and, uh, it's a park close to my house. So I'm going to drop off a travel bug, and then I think I'm going to make, uh, set up a travel bug motel today, and, um, set that up. I think it's going to be called, a leap into leap into your hotel or leap in travel bugs I don't know see if I get that to, done today I'm a little nervous so my chatter is like blah so anyway it's kind of crappy out yeah, but it's a good day for a geocache anyway it's rainy um, it's drizzly it's wet but this is a nice park and um, hey we're out and about peace out for a little bit and then we'll go on the trail all right here we are at the Cornelia trailhead and the Cornelia Park trail I don't know. There used to be able to walk your dog here, but... Oh, you can, too. <laughs> A few little piggies can ruin everything. Things for everyone. Hmm. Guess dogs have been pooping here lately. <laughs> Somebody sees me talking to myself. It's a pretty park, though. Let's see, that guy saw me talking to myself. All right, here we go. We're going to go on a little walk. It's a beautiful little trail here. I won't film the whole thing, but I'll film some of it. And we'll get around the corner. There's a really pretty boardwalk. And then we'll get down to the cache. Um, there is another way to this cache. I just had to record that because this is a new since I've been here. There's no poo, please. I thought it said no food, please. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, um, I made this geocache a little difficult. There's a, a lot, um, a quicker way to go to it, but I wanted people to enjoy a little trail instead of just hopping, driving, easy park and grab. Um, some people like those, but I wanted it to be, um, you know, enjoy it. And then you can go find a cache. So, like I said, I'm not really good at this. <laughs> I'm talking and walking and videoing. So, <laughs> here we go. trail that I was telling you about. Beautiful boardwalk section. Um, the trail that I used to run on through here used to be down here. And this is kind of why I put my geocache here. Because this call, and I call it the primitive trail. So if you see that little white thing over there, it's where I used to run. And that used to be where the trail was. Now it is here. There's tennis courts here, um, basketball courts, picnic, um, people play soccer here. Okay, we just came back out again and we're going to go hunt for the cash. Well, it seems like some people have gone down the hill to get to it because probably their geocache gets them, their GPS starts to get them to go in this direction. Um, so I'm going to see where they go. This used to be, like I said, the primitive trail. You can see. I think people are making it a social trail now that they've been hunting for the geocache. This is where I used to come through here. Now I'll go see what it looks like to go hunt the cash for myself.
because I had a few comments that said, oh, I went down to the slope for this one. <laughs> it slid down the slope. <laughs> I originally had this cache in a really cool fake rock um, that looked like some of the other rocks on the other side of the bank. We are almost to the cache. Um, I used to have it hidden in a rock that looked exactly like this one, except it was fake. And it was over in that location next to that big rock. But it washed downstream and then somehow washed over there. So, I don't know how it got over there, but it must have been a massive rainstorm. Anyway, where do you think the cache is? Uh-oh, somebody put a log there. <laughs> they didn't want to get their feet wet. That's funny. Well, uh, there it is. I don't like reaching in there, though. See those things? Spider webs? Yucky. I'll have to clean that out, though. Sorry, Mr. Spiders. You're going to have to lose your home for a moment so I can get to the cache. Well, well, there's my mass collection of travel bugs that have been traveling on. Now that we've left the cache, this is one of the other ways to leave. This is actually the way that I put it in, because this used to be the exit of the primitive trail. So, I was happy about that. a good find, and I restocked it. And then the trail continues on up there. More boardwalk, more trail. And then you can turn around and come back. Well, this is Oak Street Park, and I've decided to hide a geocache in here. Um, this will be my third geocache hide. And I'm trying to figure out where would a good place to be to hide it. There's tennis courts here. Guess you could play a little pretend squash ball back there. Racquetball. Picnic tables. A swing. And some well, it's, they gotta have a waterproof camera because it's raining. And I decided to hide my third geocache in this park. It's called Oak Street Park. It has a little walking trail right here. And, oh, uh, I don't know if this is an oak tree, but I think so, maybe. <laughs> Split with something else. And inside here, I think, will be the perfect place to hide 